baadhi ya viongozi wa dini eneo la magharibi sasa wanawasuta vikali viongozi wa siasa kwa kuwa hada wa Kenya kila uchaguzi mkuu unapowadia wengi wakikosa kuafiki ahadi wanazotoa wanapoendesha kampeni zao na kunadi sera ambazo huwa hawaji kuzitimiza wanapopata ushindi ama nyadhifa wanazogombea tupate ukabilifu wa taarifa jinsi alivotilia sauti mwandishi wetu Robert Malala Viongozi hao wakiongozwa na skufu Dr. Saka Wekesa na Bijen Wekesa kutoka kanisa la Wado Faith County ya Viga na skufu wa kanisa la Christian Teaching Ministries Murumba Butla Biros Bela Manguya wameelezea kusikitika kwa idadi kubwa viongozi nchini ni wanasiasa tu bali hawana tajriba ya uongozi Kenya hii shida tulio nayo ni kwamba tuko na wanasiasa they are politicians but they are not leaders. Kwa sababu kama we ni leader na unataka watu waende mahali unaenda, lazima uwapatie rasilimali ya kufika mahali ulipo. Lakini siasa tulio nayo walio uko juu wanatakiwa wakae huko na sisi wanatungojanga tu miaka ikifika tu ile ya kura. Wanatutembelea na shilingi 20 shilingi 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 50 50. Wakienda huko hawatutendei yale tunataka wanasema tuliwapatia pesa. Hamsini ama leso. Leso mama atakula leso namna gani? Wakiongea na uandishi wa habari eneo la Murumba wakati wa kongamano la waumini wa kanisa la Christian Teaching Ministries, viongozi hao wamekosoa viongozi wa kisiasa kutokana na mazoea ya kuchochea wananchi kwa misingi ya makabila wakati wa kampeni badala ya kuelekeza jinsi ya kuchagua viongozi watakaounganisha watu wote. Hii tunahitaji kiongozi. Tunataka mbuluya. Tunataka mgikuyu ataki mjaluo tunataka mkenya anaweza kuongoza Kenya not from luya not from kikuyu not hiyo vitu hiyo vitu ni inaitwa political bankruptcy na ndio tunataka generation mpya ya watu ambao wanafikiria Kenya hapana machifu ya matribe we need a kenyan not the chief of the luya the chief of the luo the chief of the kikuyu na nini mimi kitu nashauri viongozi wauze sera sio sio ya makabila aidha wametoa changamoto kwa wananchi kuwa makini na kuchagua viongozi kutokana na manifesto zao bali sio kushawishiwa kifedha wa Kenya napatia kwamba msije mkapeana viongozi wenu ile majaribio ya kuwatafutia pesa kwa sababu wakianza kuwatafutia pesa mtakuwa watetezi wao saa hii tunakula lakini mahali tunaelekea watoto wetu wataumia kwa madeni na kwa shida ambazo tumeweka a true leader is not about you it's about the people you are leading na tuko na so many young people the outcry of this nation is from the young generation they feel we are taking advantage of them they feel that the leadership doesn't care right now is when we are talking about the young people but the truth is we don't have them at heart we are amassing wealth to ourselves that we may misuse these young brains lakini mimi maombi yangu ni can our leaders be visionary what kind of a tomorrow are we going to leave behind hata hivyo wamehimiza viongozi wa kidini kuwa na msimamo ili kuelekeza jamii hasa wanasiasa kwa manufaa ya wananchi kupata viongozi bora sisi watumishi wa Mungu na kanisa ambaye biblia inasema ya kwamba sisi ni mwangaza tuko na tunaingia katika mwaka wa campaign wa siasa tunataka kupika kura kupiga hiyo kura sasa swali ni wewe kama mtumishi wa Mungu the light of the world the soul of the world it will be very bad you are campaigning for someone you are lifting someone's name but you have not gone to your knees kujua mapenzi ya Mungu ni nini inji yetu haina uponyaji na kila mara tunalaumiwa kanisa linasema nini huu ndio wakati the year 2022 is a very different year and the servants of God and the church we have to come out in the light Robert Malala Nyota TV County ya Busia Nasema asante kwa taarifa hiyo mtazamaji ni Nyota weekend awamu ya saa 3 usiku